Under pressure from a growing number of critics, the federal government has imposed tough new restrictions on Australia's first ever super trawler. The Federal Environment Minister, Tony Burke, has announced a raft of new restrictions for the 142-metre long factory trawler as it seeks Australian registration. The FE Margiris is tied up in Port Lincoln, waiting for its Australian registration to be finalised. But now it seems the Tasmanian company behind the super trawler has even more boxes to tick. I don't have the legal power to block it altogether. Uh, what I do have is the legal power to impose a number of restrictions on it uh, based on the impact that it can have, not on the fish that it's targeting, but on the bycatch. The new restrictions include banning the trawler from Australian sea lion hunting grounds, moving it on if too many dolphins and seals are caught, an onboard observer and underwater camera to film the bycatch and daily reporting on incidents involving protected wildlife. There should be no greater impact than if it were a small vessel. Whether it's now economic or not for them is a decision for them. We're very comfortable with the types of restrictions that have been imposed probably less comfortable with the fact that it's been imposed at the very last minute after seven years of discussion and negotiation. But Seafish Tasmania's planning also seems to have changed at the 11th hour. It's applied to have Brisbane listed as the trawler's home port. Well, this is a desperate attempt. It seems like a case of uh, any port in a storm, but this unwelcome factory vessel will find a storm in any port it tries to register in. That's left the original base in northwest Tasmania fearing it's missed out on an economic boost. They would uh, contribute a uh, significant financial uh, income into uh, the uh, region. Well, there's still, as I understand it, still 40 jobs that are Tasmanian jobs. If they're Tasmanians, that money will still be coming back to Tasmania. The company says Brisbane will be the trawler's home port in name only and it's likely to visit a number of ports during its operation. It hopes to start fishing in the Great Australian Bight by the end of the week. Anna Yard, ABC News.